Your news starts now. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. Live at 11, I'm Victoria Sanchez. New information about the Refugio oil spill. The portion of the pipeline that broke, causing the oil to spill into the surrounding canyon and beach, has been emptied. Plains All-American Pipeline, the company responsible for the spill, says it recovered nearly 19,000 gallons of oil from the pipeline. The company Plains plans to move the oil off-site to more accurately measure it. Plains All-American officials are now saying the spill is less than they thought. Based on the most current information and some additional recalculations, we now believe the worst case release amount is approximately 100 barrels or 4,200 gallons lower than we previously estimated. The worst case scenario is around 101,000 gallons of oil released. Fish and Wildlife also has new numbers. 13 oiled birds, 7 dead birds, and 4 dead mammals have been found. Five shoreline cleanup assessment teams continue to work along the shore from Gaviota Beach to the west side of Elwood Beach. Refugio oil spill protesters gathered at West Beach in Santa Barbara. The protest was put together by Food and Water Watch. The group is urging for Governor Brown to ban fracking and other oil extraction methods. They also want to make sure the Coast Guard does not use dispersants in oil spill cleanup processes. They want that guarantee in writing. So a part of the federal response plan to oil spills is to uh, consider using dispersants, which, which are um, surfactants that can actually cause the oil to sink deeper into the water table and make the environmental impacts and health impacts even worse. So what we're asking is that they put in writing that they will not consider using those chemicals in this bill. The protest wrapped up with a march up Cabrillo Boulevard and ended in front of the Coast Guard office at the Santa Barbara Harbor. Students